Hello, I'm Eric Skindred with the Hospital Association of Southern California. Today I'm talking with Anna Riza, also with the Hospital Association of Southern California. Anna joined HASC back in 1994. She is the association's vice president, Patient Access Services. First of all, thanks Anna for joining us today and for sharing your valuable time with us. Patient Access Services helps bring multiple services to hospitals that they and their patients likely weren't accessing before. In a nutshell, Patient Access Services programs are designed to help organizations access public services, again, services that they likely weren't taking advantage of before Anna's programs came along for them. So, the programs include Eligibility on Site, the Conservatorship Access Network, and the Bridges Maternal Child Care Network. Eligibility on site, or EOS, helps lower income patients start to access Medi-Cal benefits while they're in the hospital. Conservatorship Access Network, or CAN, helps Los Angeles County residents who are no longer able to make decisions for themselves access LA's Office of the Public Guardian Services. The next program is the Bridges Maternal Child Health Network. It's aimed at helping families sidestep limiting social determinants of health. And, as Anna pointed out to me, it may be HASC's very first program targeting social determinants of health. Anna's response on the written part of this interview goes into some interesting detail on the Bridges Network's work. Check it out. Now, I can't resist relating a story. Anna told us a colorful story about how former HASC Senior Vice President Kathy Winans sketch the main idea for eligibility on site on a cocktail napkin back in 1980. Quite a story. Hey, Anna, you want to tell us the story? Sure. When I came on board uh, to the association, I was told the history of our eligibility on site program. Kathy Winans, um, at that time, the vice president of operations, shared with me that she was for a former Medi-Cal eligibility supervisor with the County of Orange Social Service Agency. And she and a colleague happened to meet, a former colleague uh, at the County of Orange happened to meet, and they talked about, you know, what's keeping them up at night? What are some of the hospital issues? What are some of the county issues? And collectively, they drew out this thought of why couldn't we embed county eligibility workers into the private hospital setting and the idea was sketched and it just took off and so Orange County was our first uh, county within the Hask region that implemented a eligibility on-site program and from there it went throughout the Hask region and over the years there have been some counties that have brought in their staff internally for staffing reasons but it all started on that you know napkin while uh, connecting with a former county friend. Thank you for that. That's quite a tale, and it's a great program, too. So what's interesting to me, what's one thing that stands out is that Patient Access Services has been active for over 40 years now. That's almost half a century of work. So let's move on. Finally, there's some exciting news you told us about. After years of working mostly in Orange County, the eligibility on-site program is poised to move into Los Angeles County and perhaps beyond. You mentioned that the move faced some resistance at first. So tell us, what finally changed things? And what important information should our listeners know about the opportunities that EOS services represent? So the Orange County program was developed, as I mentioned, in 1980. It probably launched a few years later. But Los Angeles County followed shortly after Orange County by embedding those Medi-Cal eligibility workers. And, you know, over time we and technology, we've been able to evolve into different models of providing Medi-Cal eligibility procurement in that private hospital setting. And so about 10 years ago, again in Orange County, we launched the concept of a pilot by utilizing the local county's application portals and, and removing that physical presence of the Medi-Cal eligibility worker from the hospital, embedding them back into the county offices, but still having a dedicated unit or representation, county staff representation, that would accept and receive our hospital applications. And so that went successfully in Orange County, and we were in discussions with Los Angeles about how could we utilize technology and local resources 
for hospitals and the County of Los Angeles. And so as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, we were really put in the position of having to pull the Medi-Cal eligibility workers in LA County hospitals back into the county setting. And thus really it became a necessity to begin the discussions of utilizing the Your Benefits Now portal in Los Angeles County for our hospitals that participate in eligibility on site. So we have gone through contract negotiations. We've identified HASC as a community benefit organization, and we have then drafted out, or not drafted out, at this point we've identified HASC's scope of work. Again, contracts facilitated with hospitals. We've begun the onboard processing. Um, As of April 28th, we had our first group of hospitals onboard into the HASC EOS, Your Benefits Now um, program. We have another group coming up within the next week. And by August 31st, our goal is to have all of our eligibility on-site participating hospitals on this new platform by which the hospitals can submit those applications electronically via a web-based application system to a dedicated unit of county employees who will determine Medi-Cal eligibility. And so for hospitals, it means they still have a direct link to a county employee who can determine that eligibility. There's still an opportunity for, you know, fluid conversation about the case, what may be needed, because ultimately, at the end of the day, we're both providing a service to our community. Uh, For the hospital, it's their patient, and for the county, it's the consumer, the public that they represent. Thank you for that great summary, Anna, that really um, brings things together. And we're kind of out of time, so I want to thank you. It's been a real pleasure, and I've learned so much. Thanks very much, and take care. Thank you, Eric. You take care. Be well.